In this video, we will be studying about the importance of statistics in economics. That why do we need statistics in the economics? What is the reasons and how it is important? Number one is your quantitative expression of economic problems. See, you can express your economic problem in a quantitative expression. Suppose there is a milk, so you can, it has a alternative users and it is scarce and resource. So, um, you can analyze by using the statistic that how much of milk is consumed on an average every day. It, on an average, a milk consume on an average is rupee, uh, let's say, it net tons, right? Then the milk used on an average for making uh, sweets, the milk used on an average to be used as household. So all this you can compare in, in the expression of economic problem. If the problem of unemployment we take, it's quantitative measure saying that 20% of the Indian working population is unemployed. Or you can also say that 18% of unemployment uh, worker has tend to increase from 18% to 9.4%. So you can express your uh, economic problem in quantitative terms. Second we have is in the sectoral or in the temporal. comparisons by using statistics you can compare the intersectoral and inter temporal comparisons that you can compare between your primary tertiary or secondary sector that how much resources are being used by individually each of the sector on an average or what is the income being generated from the 20 percent is generated from tertiary uh, secondary let's say it uh, 40% is generated from your primary and then 40% is uh, generated from your tertiary sector. Intertemporal comparisons you can compare that unemployment between rural and urban areas. In rural areas there is unemployment of 60%. In urban areas there is an unemployment of 40% or you have increased your unemployment from Ethnic person to this person. So, these are your intersectoral or intertemporal comparisons that can be done from by using the statistics. Working out cause and effect relationships. Let's suppose the price of a particular commodity have increased, that is the effect, the price have increased. What are the various causes that have increased? So you can work out the causes and effect that if the price of wheat has increased from rupees, uh, let's say 15 to rupees 20, right? So there are various causes, either the supply might be reduced or the, there is an increase in the demand or the cost of production has increased. So what are the percentages of cost like 20% just due to the supply have decreased, 40% is due to the increase in the demand. So you can work out the cause and effect relationship. Fourth is your construction of economic theories or economic models. You have heard about the various economic models. Like you will study the in year 12 the law of demand, the law of supply, law of variable proportions, okay, your average products, your marginal product. All these are theories that are derived from the statistics in the economy. Fifth is your economic forecasting.
you can take the data of the past 10 years you can analyze the data that becomes the statistics you will get a result of it then it will help you to produce uh, forecast the future let's suppose the demand of wheat during the last 10, uh, 10 years you took now by analyzing the uh, data you can forecast the demand of wheat in the coming year so that is the economic forecasting it helps Six is the formulation of policies. The statistics helps the government in formulating the policies. Suppose your finance minister has to decide how to increase or decrease taxation as a source of government revenue. So the what the finance minister will do, he will study the statistical data, interpret the data and get the result out of it and take the decision accordingly. Seventh comes economic equilibrium. See so equilibrium situation is a situation of rest. It is a state of balance for the producer or the consumer where the producer finds that his profits are maximized or where the produce, consumer finds that his satisfaction is maximum. So, it is through the use of statistical method that the economics have involved some eco-fundamentals telling us how profits of the producer are maximized or how the consumers get maximized is also the statistics. So, we can find out the economic equilibrium. So, I hope you have understood the importance of statistics in economics. Do download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.